creating data-driven tests using FrogLogic Squish. We'll create a new test by clicking New Test Case and clicking Record. Our application launches, and once the application launches, the control bar also appears and we'll begin recording, the control bar indicating a status of what we're recording. And then after we're done recording a few basic steps, we'll click Stop on the control bar. Then we can see the test that we've generated, and we can highlight the steps that we want to have repeat as we create our data-driven test. We'll also need a data file. So over in Test Data, I have a sample data file containing a few names, emails, etc. And we'll use that by right-clicking on our script and selecting Make Code Data-Driven. Then we'll select our data file that we just looked at, click Next. It then edits our script to include the information from that data file, placing variables in our script that we can use, and we can now replace the strings that we were typing in with variable values. So as the script repeats, it will take the next record from that particular column or from this variable and use that in the script. So I'm just replacing the strings with these variables that Squish created for me based on my data file. Now we can click Run and we'll watch the script execute using the new sets of information. So you'll notice this is the data from the data file and not the data that we used when we originally recorded the script. Go to froglogic.com evaluate to download your free 30-day evaluation during which you'll have access to our support by emailing squish at froglogic.com and other resources are also available at froglogic.com resources including documentation, knowledge base, tech articles, and other videos as well.